Hello everyone, it's Salt Rider here and welcome to another week in toys. Today is a very miserable, dull and grey Monday the 8th of November. But the postman has brought a little bit of sunshine back into my life by delivering me the first toy of the week. So this is the Studio Series 86 Sweep. Um, a figure that originally wasn't going to bother with, but then I thought, oh no, I'll pre-order the whole wave of them might as well, and then this one's just coming to stock first. I don't think we've ever, we've even seen Preceptor um, or Starscream yet on the shelves. I'm surprised we haven't seen Starscream yet, but then again, this is just a, a straight repaint of, of Scourge. So here is Scourge here, and you can see the kind of difference in the blue just about. Um... Yeah, not quite the, the blue colour that's on the back, mind. Uh, I would have preferred it if they give this guy a different face sculpt, as you can see, the same face sculpt, uh, same effects part. It's a little bit of a cop-out, really. I can't believe I've been roped into paying another 33 quid for a figure I've already got. I'm actually tempted to army build this guy, and I'm not really an army builder, to be honest. Uh, the only thing I've army built in the past is the Titans uh, Return Sharptacons. I haven't even um, army builded the, the more recent Studio 86 nor, uh, but I would like at least one more of these, at least one more, um, to, to set these off with a three. I think three, um, two of these and, and a Scourge would be the right, would be a decent number. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. Uh, a little bit underwhelming because the figure I've already got, but um, yeah, it's another one to the 86 collection, and as I said before, Studio Series 86 is the only line when I'm fully in on now across any toy line. Um, simply because of the cost of everything. Um, I have opened some stuff up from last week, so let's quickly talk about that, because I didn't I didn't get these open. I opened up a thrust today, who is lovely. This is a great, great figure, and for those of you who um, haven't got this mould, or if you've got the Blitzwing mould, because this feels so different to the Blitzwing, it's a high recommend. There's a bit of tolerance issues with these, like null rays that fit on there that they tend to pop off a bit. Um, but other than that, it's a great figure. It looks great in both modes. I'm really, really happy to have it. And I definitely want to add the Starscream to the collection. And they're bound to do more Seekers, aren't they? They're definitely, definitely going to do more Seekers. Uh, also, uh, I opened up uh, Snake Eyes here, um, who is cool. Really, really nice. Uh, I dig this figure a lot. Mine has a slightly loose slightly loose arm but nothing too dodgy it's not going to fall about it's just a little bit looser than i would like it to be but yeah snake eyes here, here with his realistic weapons and his uzi no sword though as i said last week and uh, we got timber as well who's a lot of fun a lot of fun getting this figure uh, makes me really tempted to get croc master now um simply because of the animal the animal is so so cool they've done such a good job of it and i actually am tempted just to pick that up now just for that figure so today is saturday the 13th of november and uh, i wasn't expecting to get any more toys this week but my how i have i got a few toys not not crazy amounts but i've actually had a decent little charity shop haul um with some vintage toys in there, which is pretty awesome. And then I went to Smith's uh, and picked up a couple of toys that one of them I wasn't expecting to see on the shelf. And I've also got a little gift for my mate, Junk Heap Day, for his dollies. So let's start off first with that, shall we? I went into a charity shop. Um, there's a little place where I live called Aldridge that's got about four or five different decent charity shops. And I've had a bit of joy in there. Um, and there wasn't a lot in there today. There was a couple of odds and ends, a few pieces. My son picked up a couple of bits. Uh, but nothing, nothing major. Um, but then I walked into the last charity shop, which is normally the one where, where you might find the odd bit, but nothing too big. I saw this sitting on the shelf. And uh, I thought straight away, John Keep Dave, because he loves his dot this. Um, it's this. It's a Action Man dirt bike. Um, is that the right term? It's a bit worn. It's got some sticker wear and all that kind of stuff. Now, Dave does love his 12 inches. It's lucky Lizzie doesn't, isn't it? But there we are. Um, but yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, this would be perfect for him to, to stick one of those G.I. Joe retro dolly action man figures on he collects. And I know he was struggling with the stands as well. And when I had a look at this, it's got like a little kickstand on it. So I thought, well, actually, he could use this as one of the stand, maybe for one of the figures that uh, won't stand up. Um, the other thing he could do, if he really fancied it, is he could take all the stickers off and spray it green, and then uh, it'd be good for, like, a brunt or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But the cool thing about this is he's got... 
Not what noises and suspension. How cool is that? That was £1.50. Um, so yeah, Dave, that'll be on the way to you along with a load of other stuff I've been saying I'll send you for ages. Uh, then, in the same shop this was, so that was that was £1.50. Um, the next three things cost me a total of 75 pence. Uh, this is the first one I spotted. It's a little, little bot shop thing and I don't know why I keep buying these because I don't do anything with them um, but uh, this I just love the face on it love the face on it it turns into a tank a lot most of them it, it struggles to stay in alt mode but it, it's pretty cool pretty cool I like the look of it um, so yeah I don't know who this actually is I don't know if it, it's meant to be Megatron or well, let me know in the comments below if you know who this is meant to be uh, but then I spotted uh, there the cliff jumper as well which which was pretty cool um, it turns into that kind of car, um, more like the, the, I suppose, the prime bumblebee um, mould of car rather than the classic cliff jumper, but it's cool. It was 25p, so I couldn't mow it. Then in the box, I saw something that I suppose we all, we all pray to see as Transformers fans in car boots or in charity shops. I saw a rub symbol. And... It doesn't matter what G1 figure it is. It doesn't matter if you've got it or not. It doesn't even matter what condition it's in. It's a G1 figure in a charity shop in 2021. And I had to buy it. And I picked it up and I thought, God, this looks mint. This looks mint. And then I saw the bit that they've broken off it. It's a G1 Warpath. Um, and it's, it's in really decent nick. Joints are a little bit loose, a little bit loose, but it's a, it's a Takara 1984 one. Um, Toys R Us, uh, can you help me uh, un identify whether that means it's it's an original one or if it's a Chinese reissue? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but I thought, oh, it's a shame he's missing, it. he's missing his turret. But for 25p, I picked him up anyway. And then I just bought him straight away. And then I realised, I thought to myself, I'm, I'm sure I've got something in my box of bits. I've just been up the loft, literally just been up the loft. There we go. So I've got another Warpath um, Warpath turret. So what I don't know whether to just swap the entire piece or try and keep as much of this original figure as I can. I don't know what to do. Um, the the, he the head seem in exactly the same condition. This one has a little bit of a stress mark underneath, actually. But I don't know. I might just replace the entire turret, which would be the easiest thing to do. Um, or I might take the bottom off this and just replace that part. I don't know what I'll do yet. So in a charity shop for 25p, I found this Generation 1 Warpath, but unfortunately he was missing his turret. I was absolutely gutted. I thought I found the right little bargain here. But then I had a thought in my head and I thought, you know what, us Transformers fans have some spares and repairs. And I luckily had spare a spare Warpath head and turret that had been in the box for about 20 odd years. So let's make this guy complete again and get ourselves a bit of a bargain. Uh, so first up, what I need to do is open the head and undo this screw. Um, pretty simple, right? Then, all we need to do is take the new head, line it up like so, take the screw and get screwing. And here we are, a complete Generation 1 Warpath for 25 pence. He don't look too bad, does he? How awesome. Love to find G1 in charity shops. Um, but then again, I have had this part since I was a kid, so maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I have got a Warpath, my original G1 Warpath is over there. Actually, should we have a quick look and see if markings are any difference on that one? So they are a little bit different. My Warpath from when I was a kid, my complete one, Actually, says Hasbro Takara, 1984, Japan. Where this just says Takara, 1984, Japan. So that makes me even think this is either the original one from Japan, um, or this is one of the maybe the Chinese imports afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe someone else can help me in that in the in the comments below. Let me know. Yeah, let me know. Um, it's actually in decent nick um, compared to my Warpath. Um, yeah, it's not in bad condition at all. But yeah, let me know. Do the markings mean anything different or are they just different production runs? Um, let me know in the comments below. So next up, uh, I went into Smith's. And you know what I'm really what I'm really enjoying about Smith's lately is they're saying they haven't got stuff online, but when I go into the shop, they have. I've been, I've been enjoying buying this line. It's been nice to pick up one or two of them actually in person. I think 
three out of the five figures I've now got from this line I've picked up from a real bricks and mortar store, which is really nice. Um, and this figure wasn't even showing up in stock in Warsaw Smiths because I did check. Um, and I walked in there and there was like six of them on the shelf. It's the What If Nebula. And this means that I'm virtually there with my Watcher Builder figure. I can kind of put it together now. I'm just missing the cape. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, I wasn't too fussed about this figure, um, but it, she comes with a majority of the, the Watcher the Watcher body. Um, but yeah, Nebula's pretty cool anyway, and I'm, I'm going to be all in on this What If stuff. Just need to get that Hydra stomp on. But yeah, I picked up, um, picked up Nebula here, Hoist Nebula, and it just really means now that I need the cape from Silvo, and I need this zombie Captain America. And uh, then I thought, well, I, I, I shouldn't really buy anything else. And then I walked past the Masters of the Universe section, and I really want Evelyn. I really want Evelyn, but Warsaw didn't have her in stock. Um, and she's in stock in all of the places um, around the Midlands. Um, Tamworth, which sometimes I go to, we've got a load of them in. Castle Vale, we've got a load of them in. Um, but nowhere else I've got this character for actually in stock. And he's not in stock online when where Evelyn is. Um, so I picked up a Beastman, uh, 15 quid. Um, I'm not fully in on this line. I am cherry picking characters I want. Um, I wouldn't have bought this for £25, but for £15, it's it's there and it, it, it they're great figures for that price point um out of the ones that uh, i think um uh, spike or and Mossman, i can take or leave i might do a john grieve and just wait until they appear in b&m at some point to see if they appear in uh dirt cheap in there or home bargains or something like that which is going to happen for those couple of characters right um but beast man i thought you know what he was class in the series i love revelations i think it was a good show um, so that leaves me now with He-Man, Skeletor, I've got Teela, and I've got Man-at-Arms, and I've got Beastman as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, and that's it for another week in toys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, there might not be a week of toys for a couple of weeks because, well, basically I'm probably going to have a little bit of a hiatus from toys with Christmas coming up. I need to get my son some things and all that. Uh, unless there's a few pre-orders, but if there's some toy news or if I stumble across anything, then I'll, I'll let you know. But until next time, I've been Zork Rider, and I'll catch you again really, really soon.